I got to remind everybody, if you're listening, do not feed the chickens of yeah, Ybor City. Yeah, they plenty of food around here. They eat the bugs, the worms, they eat cockroaches, and if you feed them, they start to kind of get a little too close to the humans. And even though they're protected by law, it's not a good thing to have them coming up to your baby and trying to, like, get food out of its hand. <laughs> yeah, That's not, not a good, good thing. Why are there so many chickens around Ybor City? The chickens and the roosters of Ybor are descendants of the original ones that came here with the immigrants as a food source. Also a source of entertainment. They were kind of into gambling, if you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, as Ebor went through its economic ups and downs, uh, people left Ebor City, as we talked about, started heading around, and they couldn't travel with a rooster under your arm. <laughs> so they just opened their back gate, and they were like, good luck, buddy. And considering how tasty the birds are, they're very resilient. They just kept having babies. Now there's like two or 300 of them that wander Ebor City. They have free range of the entire town. Are they protected by the city? Yes, they have civil rights. <laughs> If you grab one for dinner, it's like $500. I think it's more than that now. It's like 800 bucks. Oh, my God. Protected species here. They are good-looking birds. Certainly not in danger. They're thriving. No, they're thriving. And I tell people all the time, you can take photos, you can take videos, but remember, they are descendants of fighting cocks. <laughs> you know, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go trying to pick one up. He might, you know, come at you if you get hey, too they're close. wild, man. They they're wild. They spurs. Those oh, yeah. are aggressive. They are, one of them chased me around a parking lot one I'm time. I'm telling you, they don't mess around. You, especially you go near their babies, they don't like that. So they were just descendants of people, I don't know, having what, like a hen coop and having exactly. eggs? And yeah, you got to have food. You got And then, they, like I said, they also were breeding them for fighting because back in the day there was a lot of gambling in Ebor. And, uh, you know, these champion cocks just kept having babies. A hundred, and, a hundred years later, they're yep. still hanging out. These aren't your Purdue chickens that are, like, in a, in a factory somewhere. They're good-looking like birds. they Tampa Mafia chickens, mm -hmm. man. They got some juice to them. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. People, I feel like everyone comes here, right? who has never been here before, they go, dude, what's up with all these chickens? That so must be a question one, you get asked all the time. That's the number one question. And then the number two question is, have I ever met the shoe licker? I hate that question. The shoe licker? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, really. 